Hello, today I've come to Kimridge Bay to do a spot of landscape photography. By now, if I actually got a good photo, hopefully you'll be seeing the, one of my better ones. Last night we had a look at the um, weather forecast and it said it was going to be really nice today so we're going to have lots of um, sun, broken cloud and it's going to be perfect for weather conditions for photography. Now, I've wanted to come to Kimridge Bay for such a long time, probably about 20 years now, um, but just never got around to it and it's only about three, three hours away from us. So we decided we're just going to, last night, book a B&B, come down, um, as soon as the weather was going to be great and then take some landscape photographs of Kimridge Bay. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit wet. So, <laughs> again, the forecast wasn't, wasn't that accurate. So, it doesn't look like we're going to get sunset tonight. Um, everything's flat and wet and I don't really want to get the camera out at the moment because it's just pouring down. But, I think... Well, hopefully, um, it might clear up a bit, but um, I just don't know. But if it doesn't, um, sunset's going to be in about an hour's time. So I might hang around. This, the tide should be going out. And there's these lovely patterns that go out into the sea at Kimridge. Um, they're all along the coast, so we should get some really nice photographs. And if, if it gets dark and gets nice and blue, um, if we don't get the light, at least we can get some nice blue, long exposures um, with nice misty water and these lovely patterns going out into the sea so it'd be very simple and minimalistic so even if we don't get anything that's what i'm going to go for but if you haven't been to Kimridge bay before this is what it looks like So when it's not raining, it's a lot prettier and I've seen some amazing photographs here. So I'm just gonna hang around. I might go up there a little bit in a, in a minute. The waves keep coming in quite, quite a lot over this rock, so I've gotta be careful. Um, but the, the tide is going out, so it's slowly gonna um, recede and you're gonna see more of these rocks over here. So, yep, still raining. But I think I'm going to get some very bluey and simple shots because it's so so flat and boring light at the moment. I think it's going to be best if I just get some simple um, images as well. And this, this green seaweed is super slippy. So yet again, I'll probably fall over. Ooh. I've been here now for about half an hour. Um, the sunny conditions that we were promised don't seem to be appearing and the camera equipment is getting so wet at the moment um, I'm really struggling to keep the lens dry so I've packed everything away and I'm just going to start walking back to the beach because the light just isn't very good at the moment it's, it's a very grey murky sort of uh, light and we're not not really getting the compositions or kind of feel that I wanted to get so I'm just going to go back to the cliffs and get a bit shelter there and hopefully it might uh, stop raining before sunset and if it does um, we might get a bit more uh, light or blue light I'm hoping um, just so I can pick out some nice pictures because at the moment it's just very grey and it just doesn't look very nice so I'm just going to see if I can find some fossils while I'm waiting and I'm going to keep the camera dry so I'm going to turn you off for a bit and I'll see you in a bit. We came to Kimmage Bay the other evening to try and get sunset but we didn't get anything uh, it started to rain so I came back the following morning and it rained again and then last night and it rained again but today it's not raining at the moment it's supposed to be really sunny but we haven't really got much in the way of sun. I think it's going to be very cloudy. And because it didn't look like there's going to be much sunrise this morning, I came here very early to get some pictures um, before the dawn in the blue hour. So what I've done, I was down there a bit further on and I was taking some 
portrait and landscape photographs at about, I think it's two minutes, F11 and ISO 100. I wanted to capture the movement in the water and make it very milky water. And I focused in on a few rocks to try and make it look um, so they were solid and stand out in between all the, the waves coming and going. Um, it's a nice long exposure to give me a real steely blue effect. Because we're not going to get a sunrise, I'm going to try and get some blue or some colour in there at least. If you're not familiar with um, the Jurassic Coast in Dorset, what it is, is it's a really old um, coastline and there's, it's famous for having lots of fossils. So there's lots of dinosaur fossils and things like that and ammonites um, scattered all along the coast, all the way from, I think it's um, Bournemouth area going all the way back to Weymouth. And it's, it really is some beautiful stretch of coastline. And uh, yesterday I was looking at some, trying to go do a bit of fossil hunting and I managed to find a few. So I'll just quickly show you what I got. So this I think is a nice little tooth. I'm hoping it's from a, I don't know, Tyrannosaurus rex or something like that. Then I got a replacement hip. I'm not sure what dinosaur that's from, but the coolest thing that I found on the Jurassic Coast is this um, fossilised butterfly. So I think that's like a dinosaur butterfly or something. So that is really cool. Right, I've come along the beach a little bit more now and there's this lovely rocky outcrop which is going out to sea. So I've got like a little bit of a, a jagged line going out. So what I'm waiting for is like about now. So when all the the waves are just falling off the side of this rock. So I'm taking about, I've got about three second exposure. So I'm getting lots of nice movement going all around this image. And we've got like a, a lightning shaped line going all the way up to the back of the image. So it's quite ethereal and I quite want a nice a simple image. So what I'm doing is, um, we've got a long exposure, waiting for the, the water just to come in and cover a lot of these rocks because if they're all exposed it doesn't look so dramatic so what I'm trying to do is get a nice simplified image by putting ooh, gonna get wet by putting um, a lot of the waves going over the the rocks and having it swirling around the outside so it's very minimalistic so I'm taking a number of different photographs uh, a number of different exposures just to see um, because it the patterns in the rocks change all the time when the waves are going over them so it's nice to see um, some different patterns and different compositions just based on the waves so take as many photos as you can but look at them on the computer later on and then you can see which one works best and which ones don't these waves really are changing the composition of this photograph if you look at it the photograph without the waves i don't know if you can see but i'll show you the basic area now that is the the photo there Along here, it's, I don't like this edge here because it kind of comes off, these rocks come off the left-hand side. So what I'm trying to do is wait till the, the sea comes in from the left and then I'll take the photograph because that, that kind of keeps this rocky jagged bit inside the frame and it doesn't go off to the left. So here's one coming. And there we go, that's about right. And as they're coming across, it will kind of frame these, these rocks quite nicely. The tide's coming in a bit now, so I'm gonna start walking back to the beach. Um, Cause it's a little kind of a spit here and I don't really wanna get stuck out on it. So it is extremely slippy. So I'm gonna get back to the beach and then try and find a nice composition uh, for some more photographs. It's getting even cloudier now, so it doesn't look like I'm going to get any great photos of sunrise today. So I really am struggling at the moment. But I'm going to see if I can find some more. We've got, got most of the morning, so I'm going to keep looking around because there's some lovely rocks around. If you look at the, the background rocks over there, they're, they're absolutely amazing, but... Uh, I just haven't found my composition yet.
and I'm keeping a lookout for some dinosaur bits. There's some gun turrets here left over from World War II. They're just crumbling and eroding now, but I don't know if you think those kind of things are, are photogenic or not. They're not really my cup of tea, but there's quite a few around this area. So if we're into that sort of thing, it might be quite useful um, to add in your photograph. But I find them a little bit depressing. Right, I've taken a quick photograph of these um, gun turrets, pillboxes, whatever you call them. Um, there's a little stream coming down here and you've got these big blocks in the background. So I've just taken a portrait shot with a nine stop neutral density graduated filter because the sky is really bright behind the background and just got this water leading in the foreground. But it's not going to be a winning photograph, but it's uh, while I'm here, I might as well take it. I've come a bit further down the beach now and I've found this really stunning um, composition. There's these, these rocks going out here, little jagged little rocks with a few of these pebbles all down in the foreground and in the background we've got that lovely tower on the hill now the sun is up there somewhere and i think the clouds are moving so with a bit of luck we might get a bit of sunlight coming out but um we're getting some nice colors in this reflected off this water anyway so i'm gonna hang around here and i might get some some nice photos while i'm waiting for the light but if it, if it pops out, I think we should get some really nice colours. What I'd ideally like is for it to hit the tower in the background over there, because that will look really good, I think. Um, I don't want it in the foreground too much, because when the waves are crashing, you get a lot of white. And if you get too much sunlight on that, it'll burn out the foreground. Um, so I kind of want this quite blurred and quite dark in the foreground, where the, the back I want quite crisp and, and bright, I think. It's gone very calm unfortunately but I was hoping there's going to be a few more waves come out so they crash over the foreground and just come at this rock but uh, there's one or two waves coming in now so I'm just going to hang on there's a little bit of one so I kind of oh it's quite a good one I think I just want it so there's a bit more interest in the in the middle ground of this photograph and I think that's that's quite important because you've got lovely bits in the foreground nice bit in the background but not so much in the middle so that movement around there with the water might, might add to the interest I think and add to the composition I'm using the um, three stop neutral density soft graduated filter to hold back the sky because it's quite bright even though the sun isn't out but it's um, behind the clouds and the clouds are very bright and then I've got a polarizing filter to try and cut the glare off these rocks because they're all very wet and what I want to do is get the textures in those um, and try and cut off the glare from this white sky because it's not very appealing if it's a bit of, if there's nice um, sunrise colors like pinks or oranges or something like that I think that'd really work to try and emphasize the the reflections but because it's just white it's not going to work very well so the polarizer does a great job of just cutting off those reflections. I just found a really nice, um, beautiful rock um, with the water just coming over it. We've got a little stream going out to sea. So I've um, managed to get a nice like, self-portrait, essentially, um, on the reflection of this rock. Um, so I framed it up to put the rock in the thirds and the, um, the water at the top coming in in the top two thirds and just stuck my thumbs up. The light's gone now, so I'm starting to head home. I think I've got some good compositions, I hope. Um, even though the light wasn't the best today and I didn't get much of a sunrise, I've made the most of it and I really enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as well. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you. There's a man out there walking on water. <laughs> he might be Jesus. Cool. I'll just zoom in a bit. No, he's on the paddleboard, sorry. Oh well. <laughs>